What is up guys, Pie Muffin here, and we are back with our SAO Unleashed Blading video. So, we finally had the SAO live stream today that was uh, primarily the big news of the live stream, even though it had a lot of other stuff, uh, was about the Tails collaboration with the Sword Art Online uh, mobile game. So both uh, Unleashed Blading and Integral Factor are getting Tails content, and then of course Tails of the Rays is getting SAO content, I've already made a video on that. Um, but let's just quickly go over it. There's not a ton to go over. It feels like the Tails side got the better deal here. I'm still happy with what we're getting, but I feel like we could have gotten better stuff on the, uh, Unleashed Blading side. Because I think Integral Factor even got a better deal as well. But let's just go over everything. So, first things first, uh, Tales of Series crossover event. Uh, we are getting two char- we're getting two SAO characters wearing Tails outfits, uh, Kirito is going to be wearing Law's outfit, and Leafa as Sugu with her black hair, uh, is going to have Rinwell's outfit. Um, so let's just go over everything. So Kirito himself, I am so happy about this collab, because this gave them the excuse to give us a fist weapon Kirito. So this is our first, like, non iscon uh, fist weapon character. Uh, I don't believe we have anyone else who fights with their fists, so this is actually really, really cool. So, Silver Wolf, Martial Artist, Kirito. The whole joke here is, is that, uh, I mean, you could actually say for both English and Japanese, but specifically because of this mobile game, uh, Kirito's Japanese voice actor is both Kirito from SAO and Law from Tales of Arise. So that's what the whole joke is they're doing right here uh, with him. His banner is going to be dropping tomorrow, so obviously we will be summoning for that. Uh, light attribute, of course. And then the... Uh, oh, okay, we can look at his skills. Let's just go over everything right now. Uh, he does have an enhanced mode. Very cool. Ooh, steel. Okay, so all of his abilities are actually Tails, like, named. So that's very, very cool. Uh, in current... Uh, yeah, so enhanced mode character who can perform powerful breaks. Use his attack buffs to raise his firepower and take out his foes. So they're actually doing what... How Law kind of worked in Tales of Arise. The more hits you would land without getting hit, the stronger his hits would become. So it's kind of similar to... Not exactly how that is, but they are trying to at least, you know, mirror that. His special partner is going to be Leafa. So they're finally... Okay, so what they didn't do in the Auto Master collab, which was really, really dumb, you know, how Anna and Yuriko weren't... Like, they were partners, but Anna was dark and Yuriko was wind. So you're never going to use them together anyway. Um, so Kirito and Leafa will both be... You know, they're both the same element and they're both going to be partners. So obviously... Uh, you know, I obviously, and you can use them with other characters too. Like if you pull this Kirito, you know, use an Asuna that has Kirito as like a partner that still works. But obviously, ideally, you want to get both these characters. So Incarnate Skill, uh, Thundery Tenebrous Claw, obviously Law's Mystic Art. Incarnate Blunt Attack on Single Enemy deals 15% additional damage on enemies inflicted with Physical Resistance or Magic Resist debuff. Damage increases by 15% when your attack buff is 15% or more, and an additional 15% when that buff is 30% or more. So very, very powerful. Uh, very, very good unit. I'm glad they're really kind of going all out with this unit. Uh, okay. <laughs> Sword skill, even though he's punching. Uh, tectonic Punch uh, is his break. Raises his own attack by 7%. Max 30% for two turns. And Blunt Attack, strong on single enemy. Lowers physical resistance by 20% for one turn. Incarnate Break, 50%. Assault is Divine Fang Blast. Raises his own attack by 7% for two turns. And Blunt Attack, extra strong on single enemy. Okay, and same thing. Uh, deals an additional 15% damage with that have a debuff. Uh, and then Steel is his enhanced mode. Uh, Steel is a uh, is an art in Tales that, you know, pretty much does this. It makes you stronger. Um, places your character in enhanced mode, strengthening your own skills, increases MP require, okay. Raise on attack by 10%, max 30% for two turns. So his banner, and of course, partner is Leafa. Uh, banner is going to be dropping tomorrow, and it runs until the 15th of September. Uh, okay, and then we can look at his enhanced mode details. What changes with enhanced mode? I'm really not seeing too much. It's really just looks like it gets stronger. Yeah, it looks like for the most part, everything just kind of gets stronger. Okay, that's cool. Um, okay, and then here is Leafa. 
uh, Sugu. Her banner is going to be dropping a week later. Unfortunate they're not dropping together. I mean, it's kind of fortunate and unfortunate. It's fortunate for people who are okay with spending more. Um, because I expect... I'm going to open the game right now while we're kind of talking to see if the news is in-game already. Um, I'm expecting it's probably not going to be in-game until a little bit later, but uh, there is a data download, so the info might be in-game. I want to see if these barons are going to be guaranteed, because if they're guaranteed, it's not going to be a problem for me, because I am pretty much already have the uh, 3,000 I'll need for both units. So uh, I expect they're going to be guaranteed on step 7, though. Uh, since they are collab units. Um, but yeah, so her banner is going to drop a week later, and it runs until the end of September. So Fairy World Magic User Leafa, she is a light sword unit. Uh, very, very cool there. I, I love that they went with this too, so it doesn't like feel off, because they both Rinwell and Leafa or Tsugu, kind of have a similar hairstyle. Uh, they just have a different, you know, body type, obviously. Um... But they pretty much look the same. I mean, we'll see how they look in-game, but very, very cool there. They're obviously not going to show Leafa's details until we get closer, um, so that's pretty cool there. Um, just really quick, opening the game, see if they have anything. They do. Okay. Uh, I'm not going to pull it up in the video because we're just checking for one thing. Okay, new character guaranteed on Step 7. Okay, that's perfect. All right, so both Kirito and Leafa will be guaranteed on Step 7, so you don't have to worry. If you are going in, you don't have to worry about going to Step 7 and then waiting for the raid up or whatever. Uh, so that's very, very good there. I'm very happy about that. Here's where I'm not so happy. At least with the Idolmaster collab, we had summon... Like, Yuriko was a summonable unit. You know, she's an Idolmaster character. And then we also had the free Anna unit. With this, we are not getting any, as far as this is concerned, we're not getting a single playable Tails character in this collab. Uh, which kind of sucks, because on the raise, on the Tails side, we're getting Alice and Yu-Gi-Oh, and we're getting new stuff for Kirito and Asuna. So this kind of sucks that both Alphan and Geon, uh, definitely should have been playable characters, uh, are just being sidelined as home screen characters. So I'm actually really disappointed in that, but it is what it is, can't do anything about it. Uh, so yeah, Alpha and Gion, and then we've got uh, Alice dressed up as uh, Alicia, another voice actor joke, because the voice actress in Japanese who voices Alice is also Alicia from Tales of Zestiria, and then we have Yui dressed up as uh, Earheart Kanono. Uh, I don't know if there's a voice actor joke for that, I actually didn't look into that, but uh, looks like Yui is going to be a mission clearing one, which tells me that Alpha and Shion and the uh, Alice are probably going to be the paid ones. Um, there's going to be a crossover story event. Um, so very, very cool. Uh, there's going to be a special login bonus for 15 days. So pretty much three weeks. Uh, and on the 15th day, you will get this home background of Alpha and Shion, presumably showing them going back to their world, uh, you know, when the collab basically ends. The reason I think that this is so much shorter than the Idolmaster one is because the movie, the second SAO Progressive movie, uh, does come out in Japan on the 10th of September. So I do believe that around then we're probably going to get some movie banners. So they probably wanted to rush this collab, unfortunate as it is, and kind of get stuff done. Uh, it's nice we're going to get a bunch of 11... Uh, ticket scouts, you know, every other day it switches, so pretty much we get one, two, three, four, five, six. So you pretty much get six 11 pulls for characters and six 11 pulls for weapons. Very cool there. And then, of course, some more of these, which I, at this point I have no use for. Um, and then part five, there's going to be a boss battle campaign. You'll get this artwork for Shion if we can get to 800,000 kills. Very cool there. And then, uh, ooh, there is going to be special arm. Okay, so Lawn Rinwell's armor is going to be unlockable for missions as well. I'm actually very happy about that. Well, we got that as well with the Automaster collab, so it makes sense. And then uh, it looks like you'll get, yeah, you know, the Yui one. And then it looks like we'll also get this uh, home screen art of Kirito and Alfin uh, from other missions as well. And then, of course, showing everything else here. Crossover character information. Uh, Otherworld, Bond Scout. Uh, okay. And then, okay, so yeah, this is paid. This is paid, this is paid, this is free. 
And uh, I think, let's just refresh real quick, but I believe that's everything. Yep, it looks like that is everything for the collab. So not as excited as I am for the tail side. Obviously, the tail side definitely feels like it got the better deal, but I'm still okay with it because I know there's a lot coming up in Unleashed Blading, so they probably couldn't put too much into this collab. Obviously, we have a movie coming out, and then we have the anniversary coming around in November. Uh, so I'm very curious to see what they do for the uh, three-year anniversary. So it's also, it's almost kind of good that they're not overflowing us with collab stuff that we have to summon for. But that's going to be it, guys. Let me know what you guys think down below. We'll be back tonight to summon for Kirito, our first fist weapon Kirito. And then, uh, of course, I, I know it's been a while since I've actually made a content video, but uh, we will definitely go ahead and use him in the ranking event uh, in a few days as well. So that's going to be it, guys. Let me know what you guys think down below. Don't forget to subscribe more if you're new to the channel. I'll see you all next time. Have a wonderful day, everyone.